I preheat my oil. I'm going to put garlic in there to test it if it's hot. Yes. So it's super hot right now. Fried chicken are fried. Woo! again to Eunice kitchen today I'm gonna be making fried chicken I have here my chicken in lime and vinegar and water and I'm gonna wash it and I'm gonna come back to show you how I season it to fry it I went ahead and washed my chicken and dry it now I'm gonna season it with powder season I have onion powder, adobo, garlic, black pepper, paprika, a little cayenne pepper because I want it spicy, and a little bit of Larry salt. I'm going to go ahead. Okay, so before I rub up everything inside here, I know you guys are wondering about my plain bottles. I actually buy these um, bottle off of Amazon because it's more convenient to me to pour them in these little things. It's for my own use. I actually buy stuff in bulk like garlic powder and my adobo which I have here and onion powder so I buy these things big but I like to put display them up in my cabinet where I could grab them like really fast for my convenience so if you need these bottles for your own season you could really get them off Amazon yes I'm gonna go ahead and rub in my seasoning so after I finish rubbing my seasoning in there really well i'm gonna let it soak for maybe three hours yes so that uh, it could be marinated a little bit i have my flour here i'm gonna add some corn starch to my flour And then I'm gonna add some Larry salt. Cayenne pepper. Black pepper. Garlic powder. Adobo, and some onion powder. I'm also gonna add some more um, paprika to my flour as well. I'm gonna mix it in, mix it all in. A little bit of salt to the flour. <laughs> I preheat my oil. I'm gonna put garlic in there to test it if it's hot. Yes. I put, the oil in the pot. I put about maybe two cups of oil. And now I'm gonna put it in flour, the chicken. I'm not using any milk or eggs to, you know to fry my chicken in. This is just my way, and I like it better this way. Comment below how you fry your chicken, and try my way as well, and tell me how yours come out. So I put the batter all over the 
the chicken and I'm gonna merge it to the oil. Oh my God, it smells so good. I am not kidding. Wow. Yes, so. I'm gonna let this dry until one side is golden brown and then turn it over. It should be maybe about 15 minutes on each side, okay? Turn it down a little bit so it won't cook fast outside and not cook in the middle. So if anyone ever tried this way of frying chicken, please comment down below. This is just a simple dinner that I'm cooking for two and it's a simple way of just making a little dinner for you and yours. And like I said, thank you again for watching, supporting, to all my lovelies out there. I appreciate you guys. Okay, people, after half an hour, here is it. My chicken is nicely brown. To test it, I stick the fork in it, and you see no blood coming from it. And also, it feels very light, very, very light. I am going to put, go ahead and put them in here. I put them in paper towel, drip off the oil on into my bowl in a paper towel. Nice and brown. So crispy and nice. I'm gonna go ahead and put in the last batch of my fried chicken. And in and out and in. There goes my fried chicken guys, that's the how come. And like I said, this is just for two, a quick fried chicken. I'm having it with some salad and a piece of corn. Thanks again for watching, see you next time.